what up you guys it's Tila so we're in my kitchen actually I just got finished eating lunch which I guess is my breakfast which I guess is brunch and we have actually oh my god quite heavy <coughs> I like woke up a couple hours ago Paige have a box that apparently my dad had to that my parents had to sign for when it came in today so I don't know what's in here um Again, I have quite a few of these. If you don't know what page habit is, implement of destruction to get into the box as I open it. It's basically a monthly or a quarterly ah, subscription service that if when you get a box, either a, a annually box, which is what I have here, this is upside down, or a quarterly box, they send a book to an underdeveloped country to promote literacy. So, um, it's like 29 99 I believe for the monthly box and then I think 49.99 for the quarterly box and Yeah, so if you can see I have the flappy open um, I'm just gonna set that aside and this is the December box and it's the December romance box They have again mystery horror literary fiction YA and historical fiction for the annually I think oh and also sci-fi fantasy for the for the um, annually and then for the quarterly, they had literary fiction, YA, and something else. So I'm going to actually get on into this and see why it's so heavy. Hey, heavy. And this is what you get when you, oh my god, crinkle crap everywhere. Um, <clears throat> I'm honestly wondering why this is so heavy. So this is the December box, which I want to see where they went. They went to Sierra Leone in Africa. And... This is the little card that they get. I don't know how much of this you can see. So this is the country they went to. Ooh. Um, right there in the yellow. I don't know if you can see that. So this is the card. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ooh. Oh, wow. <clears throat> okay. So... Yay. I wonder why they had the sign for this. And then you get a fun bookmark. Which looks like this. And the quote on it. <clears throat> says, fill your house with stacks of books in all the crannies and all the nooks. By Dr. Seuss. And it has little catty, catty whiskers and books. Yay. <coughs> Excuse me. And then next we have a note by the author, the book that the box is curated for. So if you have not heard of Paige Howard, it's actually really cool. They have a box, they have like a monthly or so, um, oh, I can speak. They have a, a, an author that they curate a box for and Depending on what the author is, the author kind of picks stuff that I guess fit with the box and all of that. And I have actually two books in here. I have a romance and a historical fiction book. So let's kind of do all the little goodies. This is a surprise ball and four prizes. Actually, we're going to unwind this bad boy if I can figure out how to. Oh, wait, how do you do this? Oh my god. Ah! I don't want to ruin it. So this is what we're unwinding here as I start to. Unwind it. I'm ripping it too. Ah! Oh my god, how many layers are there? Jeez! Christ. Ah. When, when you're at home and, and, and filming, like, you should probably cut this, but it's gonna be fun to watch it unwind, isn't it? Okay, this is from. Um. Topsmalibu.com. And it says, someone will wink and smile at you from across the room, from across the room, watch closely, good fortune. So I'm guessing this ball has something to do with the romance book inside, but I'm not entirely sure. Where's the end of this? Do, do I just rip it? I'm determined now to get into this. Hold on a sec. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah. What are you? Ha ha! I win. I win. Oh my god. Wee! I'm going to have so much crap to throw out. I'm just saying right now. <laughs> I've like never seen this. And I think I saw something that actually made it be why my parents signed for it. But we'll see. 
It is. And I think I saw um, Natasha over at Toshopolis open the quarterly version of this. Um, it was like three months and she got copper string lights. I'm not entirely sure if that's what she opened. I don't know. It's probably not. It's probably something else. But, um, so this is... Uh, String everywhere. Like, I'm not even kidding you. I'm going to have so much crap to, like, throw out and chuck out from this. Okay. We're nearly done, guys. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? Oh, are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? Jesus. Now we have a little... Okay, it's a shape. All right. We have... Oh, my... <laughs> the little parachute bug. See that? Yeah, this little parachute bug. The, the, this may have something to do with the romance bug, but it's really cute. It's a little... I, I don't know how much of this you'll be able to see, but it's a parachute bug that's like copper or rose gold or something. Hello. <laughs> that's cute. Let's see what else we got in here. We got... I saw a keychain. Oh, no, it's a ring! Okay. Got a little heart ring. Looks like that. Very cool. And... <gasps> I'm gonna eat these so fast right now. We got Smarties. I've never actually, um, they, they, they may have had food, but I've never, like, seen them actually give out food in the paid tablet boxes. So that's awesome. This is the remnants. Yeah. <laughs> this is, like, so much paper and so much crap. I'm gonna have to check that out. Okay. Let's move all of these over. Implement of destruction. We'll go over there. To put him back. And then next. Okay. Got two little things. Ah! Okay. Whoopsie. And then these are probably why they were um had to be why why this box had to be signed for. Copper string lights. So I think these are like fairy light type things. Are these what are these what you are? I don't know. Anyway. So, I'm going to have to figure out how to use these. They're probably going to be hung up somewhere in my dorm room when I get back in January. So, yay. Let's get a sip of this. I'm not very glamorous today. <laughs> like, 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 I'm like still in my PJs. This is a PJ cup. And we have a keychain. Which we'll probably have to go on my keys at some point. Let's see. Eh, that's what it looks like here. It actually looks like a bottle cap type thing. Ooh. It has a little pen too. It says, I'm an omnivorous reader with a strangely retentine memory for trifles. Okay. Again, this must have something to do with the book, but that's what it looks like. Uh, just get that all the way on my hand here. So that's what it looks like. You got the pin here and the little like ballpoint pen here. So it's actually really cool. So that's awesome. It's probably gonna have to go on my keys at some point, not my school ones. Avi, there's crinkle crap everywhere. And then another thing that they do that I find really cool is, oh my God, they have like a short, um, little short story that's actually curated for the box. So this is called a little, a white shade, a whiter shade of Christmas, excuse me. I nearly said a white shade of Christmas and that wasn't right by Taylor Grant, who, ooh, my God. And these are curated by Greater Jones Street. So this is Taylor Grant right there. And I'm just gonna read this back here for you. Taylor Grant is a two-time Bram Stoker award-nominated author, professional screenwriter, and award-winning filmmaker. His best-selling collection, the Dark, in the, the Dark at the End of the Tunnel, received a Bram Stoker Award nomination. Okay. <clears throat> Let's read this little, do they have a blurb? No. Damn it. They just have like a blurb about what the story's about. Oh, it's back here. Sorry. Okay, so Matt lies about his Christmas plans to his co-workers every year for the past five. He doesn't want to admit to the truth. His, which is his loneliness, or the place he visits every Christmas day. But a chance encounter with a homeless acquaintance might just save him this year. So I guess it's about a guy who fakes Christmas plans and maybe goes to a graveyard or something. I don't know. And <clears throat> meets a homeless acquaintance that he knew and he gets saved. I have no idea. So these honestly are really cool. I may just read these for fun. 
for funsies. And we get into doubles, which is why you're all here. Right, right. So this book is ah, by the author of The Note, and this is the romance book. And this is by Kristen Higgins that you... Wait, hold on. There, there's more to this title. I know there is. I hope this is not part of, of a series. Now that you mention it. Okay. So this is a... I hope this is like a standalone. Because I don't know. Okay. So this is the book. And then as you see, it comes with like little annotations, which are like... Here, I'll show you a little snippet. little snippet of one that... Uh... Yay! <laughs> Harry Potter fan! I'm such a Harry Potter nerd, it's not even funny. Or, or not, like, like not really, but I love the books and movies. So that's kind of what they do, is they put, like, little annotations into it. And I'll show you the back of this for it, or... Because I've never read a Kristen Higgins book, so this is going to be very fun. Um, okay. So one steps forward, two steps back. The tough scholarship that put Nora Stewart on the path to becoming a Boston medical specialist was a step forward. Yay! It's set in Boston! Awesome! Please! <laughs> That's so cool! Yay! Fun fact, I, I actually live in Boston, so <laughs> yay! I know what they're talking about. But hit, being hit by a car and then overhearing her boyfriend hit on, another, hit on another doctor when she thought she was dying? Two major steps back. Injured and more wasted when Nora feels her carefully built life cracking at the edges. There's only one place to land. Home. But the tiny main community she left 15 years ago doesn't necessarily want her. At every turn, someone holds the prodigal daughter of Scupper Island responsible for small-town drama and big-time disappointments. Well, the tough islander mother, who's always been distracted, a wild child sister in jail, and a withdrawn teenage niece as eager to dish the island as, as Nora once was. <laughs> Nora has her work cut out for her if she doesn't take... If she's going to take what might be her last chance to mend, to mend the family, balancing loss and opportunity, dark events from her past, with hope from the future, with with hope for the future. Excuse me, Nora will discover that tackling old pains make that 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 tackling old pain makes room for makes room for promise and the chance to begin again. So, from what I gather, this is a young woman named Nora Stewart who is at Tufts University in Boston. My home. Um, and is... Seems to be going forward. She gets hit by a car and her boyfriend is a total jerk. Face. When she thinks she's going to die. So I guess there's a breakup there. She goes back to her home. Scupper Island in Maine. And has to mend her family. And I'm guessing that there's romance in there. I just don't know where it is. But I'm hoping this is not a series. Because if it is a series I'm going to be like what? <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be so confused. So this is the book and it has little annotations this is awesome i've never actually received a book that's like set in my hometown like i've read books that have been set in my hometown um or or like said in boston where i like read them and i'll be like i know what you are oh, this is the spine by the way <laughs> that i'll be playing with uh so this is cool i love it Th this may be the first page the, mm, the first page habit book i read just because it's set in boston so Yay! One book done. And then the next book, which is a hardback, is the historical fiction book. And there's nothing else in here. Sweet. Oh my god, this is heavy. Crinkle crap. The box is empty. You can see the book. I'm gonna put the box down for now. Oops. Do it. So, this book is called Enchantress of Numbers by Jennifer. Shiaverin? Something? And this is... Oh, Mrs. Lincoln's Dressmaker! I think I've seen that. Okay. And again, this one also has... Um, annotations in it. If I can yank open the first one, like I did with the first book. Let me find it. I don't even know if I'll be able to read this. That's her annotations. Lovely! And then, what does the book look like naked? Just a plain old brown naked book. So this book, I'll read the back for you. The only legitimate child of Lord Byron, the most brilliant, revered, and scandalous of the romantic poets, Ada was destined for fame from the moment she was born, but her mathematician mother, estranged from Ada's infamous and, and destructively passionate father, oh lovely, is determined to save her only child from her perilous Byron heritage. <laughs> 
In banishing fairy tales and make-believe from the nursery, Ada's mother provides her daughter with a rigorous education grounded in mathematics and science. Any troubling spark of, of imagination or, or worse yet, passion or poetry is promptly extinguished. Well, that is just great. That's what her mother believes. When Ada is introduced into London society as a highly el eligible young heiress, she at last discovers that, that intellectual and social circles she has longed for all her life. <laughs> Little does she realize how her exciting new new friendship with Charles Babbage, the brilliant, charming, and occasionally crumbly, I think, inventor uh, of an extraordinary machine, the difference engine, will define her destiny. Enchantress, Enchantress of Numbers unveils the passions, dreams, and insatiable thirst for knowledge of a largely un unheralded pioneer in, in computing, a young woman who stepped out of her father's shadow to achieve her own laurels and champion the new technology that would shape the future. So what I'm guessing is this is, um, <clears throat> excuse me, the, okay, this is the first computer programmer. All right, I know what we're dealing with here. So this basically is the, <clears throat> excuse me for a moment. This is the story of the first computer programmer during the Victorian era, I believe, is when she was around. I don't know. But she was um, Lord Byron's uh, legitimate daughter and, you know, passion go away and, and math and science live. So this is honestly really cool. Again, like, I read a lot of romance and historical fiction, but I usually don't... Um, I read more like contemporary romance stuff, but I feel like this is, and this isn't romance, this is historical fiction, this is the romance, and this is contemporary, so I read like kind of a lot of this stuff. I do read a lot of, oh hi puppy, historical fiction romance, my dog's over here by the way, if you heard me talk to her, um, so, and I've never actually heard about her, she's in the Masterpiece miniseries, uh, or series, I think it's a series now, yeah. called Victoria, <laughs> that was my dog, hi honey, I know you want lovings, I know you want lovings. Um, who, and let's move the box for her, and get closer, um, and she's in that, so I will be intrigued when that comes back on in January, so I can actually see her and see the computer, but this is, honestly, it sounds really cool, it's pretty dense, too, like, it's a pretty, ah, it's not, not as big as Tales of the Shadowhunter Academy, I can tell you that much, but it is pretty dense, um, yeah, so that is the book. Just that over here for now. And that was the Page Habit unboxing. This is the aftermath. You may get to see a dog. That is the aftermath, guys. Look at that. These are college books. So look at that aftermath. And then the aftermath of the destruction. Can you see that? <laughs> like, like this is all gonna get trashed and yeah. So anyway, that was the Page Habit unboxing video. Um, I will yes, hi dog. Uh, I I will try to see if I can cut out the stuff of me and winding it. I don't think that's gonna be uh, very interesting to some of you guys, but if it is, you get to watch me struggle. Um, my dog is super excited right now. If you can see this arm moving, it, it, it's because I'm petting her. She's over here by me. Um, I, I, I would show you her right now, but she's making me pet her butt, and I don't want to show you guys my butt. Or her butt, excuse me. So, uh, this video will be going up at some point um, in the next few days. Christmas is actually fast upon us. It's coming up in like a few days. So this bo th this box, what? This video will probably come out after Christmas. Uh, knowing me, it will come out way after Christmas, and I will have to deal with that. So, um, anyway, if you like this video hit the subscribe button ding dong the notification bell so that you know when i have a new video out i will try to post reviews on the page habit books that i read see the aftermath of my dog <laughs> she sheds like all over the place um and i will let you guys know i don't have an update schedule again i think maybe when i have a more structured um wait uh, schedule to my day uh, in the coming months. I will try to have more cohesive uploads. Uh, they are going to be very different and very uh, kind of scattered and all over the place. I want to see. Okay, this is a pinky one, but I will definitely be kind of 
making sure that I get uploads out. This is going to be a very long video because I'm a little scatterbrained right now and also tired. Drink. Delightful, as Bunny Graveyard Girl will say. <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah, so that is the video again. Hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. Ding down the notification bell so that you know when all my videos come out. I don't have cows for today, but he says, may all your bacon burn. If you know that reference, then I respect you. And I say stay amazing as always. I will see you guys in the next video. This is TLSO signing off. Bye.